Hello, good afternoon. I just had a conversation with somebody in Zimbabwe, and the conversation was on the G40. Who is G40? And who are the members to the extent that this formation is presumed to be a threat to the national security of Zimbabwe? Is it not important for us to pause, reflect, maybe and think deeply as to who is G40? The reason for the as stated by its architects and its authors was that the late president Mugabe was surrounded by criminals. If G40 is a, is a ruse, is a phantom, then what was the reason for the coup, one may ask? Who is G40? Clearly, there is somebody who benefits by creating this G40 character without really exposing what is this animal. We know they are members of ZANU-PF, members of, of MDC, but who are the members of this animal called G40? Patrick Chuao has stated in categoric terms that he is not G40, he is not a member of G40. There was or there is some other body corporate called Generation 40. Uh, it is represented by other people other than the people we believe to be the architects of G40. Look at uh, Zanu PF under President Mugabe just before he was relieved of his duties. Uh, there were rumors that there were two factions. One faction obviously was presumably led by a, a number of cabinet ministers. Among them and the names that were prominent were Professor Jonathan Moyo, Xavier Kasukwere, and Patrick Joao. None of them have confirmed that they were members of this formation. At the time they were removed from the party, they were still members of ZANU-PF in good standing. Their separation with, with ZANU-PF was principally uh, related to the separation of President, from the late President Mugabe and the incumbents in the party today. So when you talk of national security and the Minister of National Security in the President's office, he has seen that this G40 is a variable in the post-Mugabe era. <laughs> the address where it operates from, we are not told. The structure, the constitution, the order, who is who in that zoo, we are not told. But nevertheless, there is a lot of paperwork, a lot of conversations taking this person called G40. That has become so popular that even the president would mention this character as of relevance to public interest. So who is G40? If you have any answer, I thought to be able to get some answers. I don't have answers, but surely I can think on my feet. I can answer with my mind as to what makes sense and what doesn't make sense. So far, I have yet to find something that makes sense so that I can use that to be able to determine 
the ferocity of this allegation that G40 poses a threat to the national security of Zimbabwe and how it does that and who is behind it, we are not. So if you are watching, if you are listening, it's an opportunity for you to also add your voice to this conundrum. Does G40 exist as a matter of fact and law? If parties are required to be registered, I'm not sure, but let's say the facts of it. Is there anyone with facts as to the factual, as to the existence of this called G40? If you have such facts, please share so that we can together build a knowledge base about what is a threat and what is a manufactured threat. There are people who would like G40 to exist solely for the purpose of achieving a predetermined outcome. If it's political, then it must then be exposed as such. Why would people talk about something that has no legs and give it the name of an animal? Something that is no motion, no appetite, no feelings, yet give it of men, of human beings. Yes, Professor Moyo, we do know. Uh, uh, we do know. And uh, uh, so far, I'm not sure as to what their status is. Muzembe, um, Kandawa, people whose jobs were lost because they were presumed to be associated with this character called G40, the Generation 40. Is there a character that is known to you called Generation 40? If it exists, please do let us know so that some of us who just look for facts can use those facts. There could be no facts, but it exists, says Com Comfort Kaseke. <laughs> so what does existence mean to comfort? There are people who imagine existence and live it. They imagine it and experience it. So if you have no facts, but you have experienced the existence of G40 comfort, please share your experiences so that we can be comfortable and we can henceforth proceed to say without any equivocation that G40 is actually a person that exists in this form, whether it's legal form, then we need those documents that tie human beings to it. Because it's one thing to say something exists, it's another to bear the honors to prove it. How many of us condemn others by association? See me with a G40 person or the person you have labeled G40, automatically I am, I am assumed to be party of something that exists. So comfort, you have stepped forward. It's important that we get from you your facts, your data, so that together we can share this data and the comfort that it's authentic, it exists independent of me, and that G40 is a life of its own through its members or through its human beings, which use it as a vehicle to achieve whatever their intended. 
So comfort, I'm waiting for you to give us your, uh, the basis upon which you can confirm that it, it does exist as a matter of fact. Then the lab president clearly said it existed and the likes of who belong to it. So why ask the obvious? Who is our G. Mugabe? He's a dead man. Let's celebrate that he's dead and he can speak for himself. So if he says it existed, it doesn't mean it exists just simply because somebody has said it exists. I am not alive because somebody says I'm alive. I'm alive because I am alive. And no dead person will have the same properties that I have. One day I will be gone, but this voice will remain. So a Facebook user, please, don't talk about a person who can't represent himself. He's incapable of representing himself, and as such, it will be cowardice on our part to rely on utterances he say by another person. If that person is the source, then it's not a source at all. It can't be obvious unless we have the facts. No animal can it create itself into existence. No body corporate can create itself into existence. Either there is something that binds human beings into that which they may call a vehicle to achieve their own needs. In this case, what is the proof that this construct called G40 does exist? And if so, in what form? And through which voices and faces that speaks on its behalf? At the National Party says it does not exist then perhaps you can explain why you would suffer the burden to explain why it doesn't exist when the people who say it exists, they bear the onus to prove their own case. So Tinal say you don't suffer the burden to prove that it does not exist because you have not offered this G40 mantra, this G40 uh, narrative. So the people who are uh, proffering this narrative, they owe us a duty to prove it. So let's get the proof. Let's get the V11s. G40 is an idea that resides in the minds of uh, individuals. So if it's an idea, how does it exist? Who are these people to Nashi? Who harbor this? And how did you penetrate their minds to know that? Unless they've expressed it and say, I am a member of this idea. I'm giving life to this idea. Who is that person? If there's a person known to you, a person of flesh, please share with us so that we may henceforth stop hallucinating, pontificating, speculating and being superstitious about something that indeed was given birth to by non-individuals. It is those individuals who converted that idea into something. And uh, uh, Kamfut Kaseke again quotes Mugabe, a dead person, he described G40 as a group of young politicians who wanted to be in the spotlight. Who are these young politicians? In my own opinion, 65% of them, of them are in the ZANU PF, are virtually part of it, but no, it's risking to come out again. Again, that is superstitious. V11, you can't get, get them. So don't speak about Mugabe. Invoke Mugabe's voice into your own uh, desired outcome, into your own invention. They, they're only waiting for a signal. How do you know that they're waiting for a signal? Why put life into Mugabe's idea? If Mugabe is the one who created G40, 
then let's go to his grave and heal it and ask him or whatever it takes. But let us not import human beings into somebody else's ideas. It's, if it was an idea, let it remain an idea. But it must have a person, a human being. I can't say I'm a shareholder of an company or an idea of a company. I register a company in terms of the law because it's a creature of law. Organizations are also artificial persons. They are created by human beings. And they're legal instruments of creating this body corporate. So guys, let's not use Mugabe's words in vain. He is not here to defend himself. Comfort. Be comfortable to be your own person. Don't be comfortable cutting somebody to imagine something into existence. That's not bad. That's not that's bad business. That's not good, comfort Kaseke. I can't imagine you into existence. You are not a caricature of yourself, you are you. And step forward, speak for yourself. If you have encountered G40 as a body corporate, yes, do so. Tell us. If you have encountered somebody who is proud to be a member of this G40 formation, step forward and say so and so, and let's form that person so that we may be able to get to the bottom of it. So I just took up a few minutes of my time just to have this conversation. I hope you have enjoyed it. If there's somebody who's got proof, let us not be so clung, uh, like a, what, a, a clown, clownish. Then we clown something into existence. Just because we want to create an enemy. It's about time people confront their own ghosts if they're ghosts, confront their own enemies if they're enemies by name. It's too tired to say ZANU PF is a person. If they're members of ZANU PF who are bad people, tell us the time, the circumstances, and what is it that you allege they did as individuals who are members of ZANU PF. If they did it in a representative capacity, tell us. But it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's not good to create something for a particular purpose. I want G40 to exist. There is no G, like somebody born who says, what is if I don't know, that's why I'm here. I don't even know what it is. What the G stands for, it could stand for generation 40, whether it's 40 people, whether it's the age, I don't know who is who. And uh, if there was an understanding, then I would share it. Then I say, this is what I understand. So far, there's a lot of clutter, a lot of confusion. A peddled by human beings like you and me. And what are they saying? They're saying this character without members, without life, is a threat to national security. This is what is in memos. And that's what I thought. Why would someone write something into existence? Why would it, why would somebody try to that, that is not there. So you look at it objectively. Who would benefit from the creation of this character, phantom character? There's no movie yet. Perhaps we'll hear a movie soon called J40, the myth or the reality. Who is J40 who can stand tall on his or her feet and say, I am the one you are talking about. Is there La, La Costa? If there is no G40, I don't even know what La Costa is. I know who Nandagwa is. I know who Chiwenga is. Do they agree on all issues? I doubt it. Do they see eye to eye on everything? No. Are they married to the same woman? No. So I don't know what La Costa is. But there are people who believe it exists and 
the names and voices of the people that we know. So that it's not so right for us to give life to something. Then the people who we associate that name with are not there to stand tall and be proud of their own creation. They are all proud to be Zanu PF. Even, even uh, Joao is proud to be the, the nephew of the Ango who died. So, so Mawere, did you uh, uh, VP, pre uh, Vice President is back looking. Ben, please, we need him also on interview. Please, his English is now perfect. We have questions. Most of these people, Bongi, they don't want to be answerable. They don't want to be accountable. They don't want to be on a platform. Even those who are accused of G40, to be G40, I called one, I said, my mate, people are saying you're G40. I want you on the platform to say that, who are you? Are you G40 or not? He said, I'm not, but I can't come on, on the platform. And this is the conversation that we have. People who, who hide behind much sticks, they don't want to uh, share their experiences. They don't want to be courted. They are afraid of this uh, ghost called the Samuel PF, whatever it is. They are afraid of Lacoste. They don't want to talk. So, Bongi, if you can get one, get the VP to talk, he would rather talk to his brother, the president, than talk to you. Because he knows when he's sick, it is one man who can make a phone call that changes his world, restores his health. And that person is not me. That person you, you have to elect. After electing, then he can make the choices on your behalf. You may not like it, but that's the system we have called democracy. Is there something better than it? I, I doubt it. So this is what we have. So if there's anyone who knows the properties of this character called uh, G40, I'm open. And I will be more than willing to, uh, to preside over that platform where this character is exposed once and for all once for all, so that we can begin to talk to real issues, not to phantom issues. Imagine some people were told they were criminals. Mujuru was told she was a criminal. To date, we still have not seen the country. Nothing. We have no commission of inquiry to examine why she lost her job. Jonathan Moyo refers to himself as G14 interview with the SABC in January 2018, let Jonathan speak for himself. Said, I hope we are tired of cowards who say they are G40 today and tomorrow they deny its existence. Today, Jonathan says it is Chamisa who won the election. I'm not sure who was counting, but he says so as a matter of fact. But nobody asked Jonathan, Professor, please give us the evidence. And how you obtained it? But he can tweet and say, no, I know who won the election from his, uh, the four corners of his existence. How can we be so, so, so myopic and so parochial, so narrow that we will even create election results without knowing? We create issues of legitimacy without knowing. So that we please who? If I've won and I got the millions of votes, the people who voted must be pissed off. Where are they? There can be no gun that stops people who are determined to go somewhere. I look at the people who want to go to Europe, Africans from Niger, Nigeria, Mauritania, whatever wherever they are. They say, no, my heart is in Europe. I got to go to Europe. They know there's a Mediterranean Sea, but nevertheless, we see them crossing because they want to get somewhere. Their heart is not in Africa. Their heart is to go where they know they will be able to find 
the better expression of what their gifts are. And that happens every day. As I mentioned before, it's risky to come out clear. Who are you to speak on their behalf? If you know them and they've told you that it's risky, please tell us who it is so that we call them ourselves. But a large percentage of members are waiting for a signal. Again, comfort. You're talking to me, not to a ghost. Step forward. Talk to us about what, the, what you mean by that. Don't substitute human beings. Who the hell are you? He's just a person like me, limited in our understanding of what life is, what choices are. There are many professors who thought they would win the election, but the people rejected that. With good CVs, and the people said, we are not looking at CVs. Who am I to speak on behalf of sovereign people? Let them speak. The people must speak. If comfort, you have nothing to say, it's good to keep quiet. It's not good to just vomit words and associate those words with other people. It's not good. So be him. If, so be him. So why do we require everything of G40? Who is Jonathan? Jonathan can speak for himself who he is. If he believes that is part that they created, yes, there must be a date when they created that which we are talking about today. G40 is not Jonathan Moy. Jonathan Moy is not G40. Let's leave him alone to hallucinate, to pontificate, to dream about something that is not in existence. If something exists, then some human beings cause it to exist. And all we are asking, step forward if you are G40. Don't speak on behalf of other people who are still living. It's not where it's not good. Okay, wisdom tells me that Kaskur was a preferred young leader by Arajim Mugabe. Arajim Mugabe never did that. There are people who speak on behalf of a dead person because they want to build their careers on a dead person. Leave Mugabe alone. Mugabe's only name was himself, unless until he was pushed to name second of mine. Until then, Mugabe was going to tell you that he was a successor to himself. He never mentioned any name, including his own wife. Mugabe was himself. He was introduced to Zanupio supporters smartly in a mockery fashion through a, 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 a reality. You know. That was how the old man used to do his things. Please don't speak on behalf of a dead man. So anyone aligned to Kasukure supporting the G4 division. I, Kasukure must speak for himself. And you must find him so that he speaks for himself. Why hide behind a dead man? If the dead man wanted him, he would say so. Some people are using Mugabe's name to build their own political careers. And they lie to you like a prophet who says, I have spoken to God. Meanwhile, he spoke to God. And he, in tongues, he introduced new tongues so that he can confuse you. This is not about prophets. This is not about, it's about Mugabe, the dead man. Tell us what he said. Then we would know that Mugabe spoke. And then what did he do after thinking about Kasuguere as his successor? Why would you speak of Sekaramai? G40 is some Zanu PF men who are tired of old horses. Why Vincent Mundarekwa? Why do you attempt to substitute yourself? Even you got other things to do, Vincent. This is what has gotten Zimbabwe where it is today, where people try to give a wisdom, where there's no wisdom, to give names when there's no names. But they have no backup means. Who are you to speak on the behalf of these phantom people? As someone said, it's too risky, I agree. What is so risky about being honest to yourself? And again, I have no evidence. No evidence. Keep quiet, Vincent. Please. 19, 39 years after independence. And you want to take us to the dark ages of superstition of which doctors, witchcraft. Please, Vincent, let's be serious. If there's G40, let them come forward. 
Let's not talk about Mugabe, what Mugabe wants. For 37 years, people lived a nightmarish life just because of this man called Mugabe, thinking that Mugabe was thinking of them. Mawere, we are just referring to Mugabe's video. And he can say whatever he wants, he's a dead man. The man did not even know who was going to take power from him. He was what? Who was he? Who was Mugabe? To know what he didn't know. He didn't even know that Chiwenga and, Munga, and Nanga go insane. In the same WhatsApp group. Then you are now talking to us about Mugabe, this Mugabe that. If he wanted a successor in 37 years to do that, he failed in 37 years to produce a successor. And now you want to uh, put Mugabe in, our, in the affairs of the living. Let him rest in peace. If there's peace. Mugabe was as ignorant as Mugabe supported G40. How can you dare say that? Mugabe supported himself. He didn't even support his wife to be the next president. And I think he wanted his wife to be in the range as well. No, he didn't support anyone. G40 is a reformed. Reformed. Uh, where do you get that information? There is no G40 without people who stand on their own legs. They stand on their feet. Who is this person called G40? It's the same like saying, Kunelaroi, that's witchcraft, but there's no evidence of Aroi, but you can, you can feel that the Aroi you are pan, if you feel Aroi you are Vincent, please, get that off your mind, be a man, don't be a wind, don't be a puppet, don't be a surrogate of somebody, don't put yourself in the minds of other people who want to confuse the politics of Zimbabwe, who is this person? Mugabe is dead. If you know, if you didn't know, there are people who kept the body long enough. If he was alive, he would have woken up. Just knowing that Mandago was there, he would have woken up. He didn't wake up, so he's a dead man. He didn't support Mugabe for 37 years. He supported himself. Until he was first, only after the coup, did the name Sekaramai come from his little head. Said, you are talking on, on the behalf of G40 not being there. Let them talk on this, on the, for themselves. We want them out of the closet. They are real people. What else do you have about the two groups that went head to head in 2016? I don't even know that there were two groups. All I know, they were all members of ZANU PF fighting for attention of the maestro, the late Mugabe. And when one lost favor, then they, uh, they knocked him out. Otherwise, the others were going to abuse Mugabe. Imagine this guy, hey, 37 years in the same office. Can't you get tired? You get tired, even you. This man was no good for any government. He was not fit to be in any government. Now you give him credit for creating G40. Rest in peace, in eternal peace. In his life, he never had the name of a successor. Even Joshua Nkomo was castrated. Even Muzenda was castrated. Musipa was castrated. Mam Juru was disabled. Mugamunangaga was. This man never had a successor. Let's have an argument on that. It's very sad that Zambia has managed to create fear in the people so that they are not able to speak. That's it. I don't think Zambia can stop anyone from speaking. They, the people exist. They must come forward. Stand up for what they believe in. If G4 is their project, they must be the custodians. They must be his guardian angel. Remember, these people who see fear in others also take risks. Mark, speak on your own. You are here as your own. Who actually did this G photo? Did it appear? I'm with you, Mr. Mawere. You are not with me, Mark. Be 
speak on your behalf if you have any evidence of this character existing through the persons that you know. Bring them forward. I have not seen them. They are all cowards. Imagine they say they have G40. They can't even stand by it. They now want to use a dead man to create a political career. That Mugabe himself could not do that. Mugabe died with his wickedness. He destroyed Zimbabwe like any other son of PF. No! Mugabe was himself we expected too much. How can you be swayed by your own choices? Mugabe was pontificating for 39, seven years. We knew that. Some of us knew earlier on. It's just some of us only discovered when they lost their job. Even the so-called G40. When they were in cabinet, they behaved like little queens, little gods, little Mugabe's. Now, they are running amok, trying to find a new life. And the, the disappearance of Mugabe changed their lifestyles. And now you, you want to speak on their behalf? What for? Look at what the Chihuahua is saying. Say he's angry. He says uh, in so many ways. Let me just get you what the what Chihuahua says. And uh, uh, this is now his ticket to the people, the hearts and minds of Asan, uh, yeah. I'm still mourning and giving my uncle, President Robert Ungab. He doesn't even say the late to engage myself in such political shenanigans. Can you imagine that arrogance? Yeah. He's talking on behalf of his uncle. G40 is anyone who doesn't like ED. There are many people who don't like ED. But don't give them a name. Give them. They already have given names. They have their own say names. Yeah? You don't need this. Being a Zanu PF, what evidence do you want when it's a, not a registered faction or a political party? There is no evidence. Leave it there. You are G40 and, and I'm G40. And we are Zimbabweans. What does it matter? What's in a name? But the people who put the name forward must speak on his behalf. We are tired of this nonsense. We need people who speak from their minds, not from this whole nonsense of somebody else. We are tired of this third party. The president said this. The president wants you to kill. Then you kill a person. Then you say, I'm not a medal because I'm just taking the instructions of the president. What kind of civilization is this? Hey, who is the president anyway? Yeah? Who is the president? Who is he in your life? Imagine today you woke up on your own. You decided to clean your body. You decided to wear clothes on your own. Then all of a sudden Mugabe said this, Mugabe said that. What the hell are we talking about here? Let's be serious. We can't keep on talking about a dead man. Let's not put life on dead things. When I'm dead, please bury me. Make sure I'm dead. And you will not hear my voice anymore. But this voice today, you hear it. It will remain because other people will keep on listening to it. You can share it. You can see what Maweri said. There is no G40. It's a phantom. It's a creature of tired people. Useless. We want to use Mugabe to create careers. This is not right. We should never allow people, human beings, to start using a dead man. Now my uncle, the president, yes, I'm mourning my uncle. Get out of that. Get your life together. We don't want this uh, Mugabe, this Mugabe, that. Who the hell are you? Yeah? We don't want this nonsense. Mugabe is dead. Let's live with it. Whether it was your uncle or not, to the extent that he was a president, he must be accountable to the people of Zimbabwe. He cannot be accountable to his nephew or nephews or his wife or wives. That's nonsense. This is how we lost Zimbabwe, personalizing public matters. Anyone who is a public a trust must be a property accountable to us. If 
you speak your mind, make sure you are ready to leave Zimbabwe. Don't say if. There are many people, courageous people in Zimbabwe, Vincent. Don't speak on their behalf. They are living hell, but they are standing on their feet. They are not like me. I can't pretend to be them. I can only be a cheerleader. I can't substitute their voices. They know what it means to go to a hospital and find there's no doctor. They know what it means to go to a supermarket with no U.S. dollars. They know what it means to go to a feeling without the dollars that are required to buy fuel. They know the reality. They know the truth. You can't fool the truth. So, Vincent, excuse yourself of this uh, propensity to speak on behalf of others. They don't want us to speak our mind. Who is they? You are here. Type what you type. Use a pseudonym. But stand on your feet. If you have evidence, give evidence. Don't just say Christ is there. When he's dead, he died. Celebrate his death. Don't keep on saying Christ is alive when he died so that you can live. If you can't say there's no this, if you can't say there's no G40, yet on the same line discount them for using a dead person to revive themselves, meaning G40. No, I mean individuals. I have quoted Joao. Joao is talking about money his uncle. As if his uncle is what a little god. Some of us saw bad things happen under his uncle. He doesn't want to talk about that. Bring him on and tell, let's talk to him about G40. Where were they when things Who are they now? Which uncle are they talking about as if we don't know him? If he was a, a little dictator in their own household, in their own family, that's fine. Let him remain there. But don't try to fool us and think your uncle was a little saint. And this is a guy, for 37 years he pretended to be a president. In the whole country, people's hopes, aspirations were thrown to the gutters. And yet he says, G41. He's not G40, he's the Patrick Zwao, name him. Jonathan was there. Kasukuwele was in cabinet. When some of us were fighting to say, no, not in my name. This law must go. Any law that deprives and divests people of their rights cannot be right. I didn't differ with Mugabe because he was not my uncle. No. The man had bad ideas. We can't celebrate buffoonery and we celebrate here and say, what is my uncle? Then he, he anointed so and so, so and so to be what? Your president. Then you still have to vote for that person. Who is the person? Who is that person? Who thinks he's superior? Anyone said he can be my president. I will salute you. And I'll call you a dignified person. A prisoner. So why should I call you my president? I don't need you in my life. You don't feed me. So why should I worry about who you are? The servant. My servant. Then now I say I'm mourning a servant. Eh? No government, public office bearer must ever be uh, treated like a little god. Oh, okay, Mr. Mawari, I'm, I'm a G40, but there's nothing I'm a G40. Yes, if you are G40, get the organization registered. Be somebody, stand for it. Speak from behalf of it. Don't say I'm Vincent Mbarikwa. Say I'm the vice president, president of G40. Then we take you for what you are. But don't hide behind a matchstick and tell us that you are G40. What is G40? People want to build careers over a dead man and say we are authentic, we are loyal to Mugabe. What is loyal to the man who uh, for 37 years he never saw the family of Zimbabwe to be bigger than his own family? Yeah? Who was Mugabe in life? Who was he to you in life? All of a sudden in death, 
He annoys people. Even Michael Jackson cannot anoint someone to sing or to dance like him. So let us not be fooled. God destroys about what can we do to rebuild our nation. That's a question. What needs to be done? We need to exercise ourselves with these ideas. Dazi, not what we can do, what can I do? Let me talk to Dazi. Chihuahua, if you are Dazi, Chihuahua, is what we are doing going to uplift our nation, not we. First, we must get rid of this nonsense. Should we waste no time talking about a dead man? No, you don't have to talk about him. I'm not the one who talks about you. I know what Tishwawa said. His money is his uncle, so he has no time to do to be involved in G40 shenanigans. He better set up a party. He is a face of it. Than than hiding behind a dead man. He's already dead. He's not coming back. So get on with it. Jesus said, I've left you more than you need to live. My father has given what you need to live. Get on with it. Don't pray that I come back because what am I going to do with you? God has given you the brains not to be stupid. Don't speak on behalf of the we. Does he? Say, I does. Today I've joined the party you share with me. It happens. As it happens. Don't tell us about what you plan to do. Don't tell us building the nation, build yourself. You are the nation, you are God yourself. In you, there is reason. In you, there is logic. In you, there must be common sense. Your own sense, not someone else's sense. Give us what you are doing. Who are you, Das? Where are you? Then I can talk to a person not some kind of caricature on, on, uh, on social media, pretending to be a human being when you are something else, you are, when you are a coward. Let's not convert from the platform of cowards. Let's convert this platform to the platform of the living. So thank you very much uh, if you've been listening. These are my own views, and uh, you don't need to take uh, them as somebody else. Can we have no leaders? Never want a leader, Derek. Can't we? Can't I? You can be a leader for fools. Make sure anyone who votes for you and doesn't want to be president himself, then fine. Take the vote. Disappear with it and do what Mugabe did for 37 years. He ran away with the baton. And who benefited from it? You are not in the blue roof, my friend. So please, let's not talk about other people. Does that sounds individualistic because you are you. Be an individual. Stand up. Step forward. Step up. Don't uh, don't behalf of other individuals when you are one of the individuals. Who are you, Does? Yeah, I hope you are a human being. I hope you have two legs. Even if you have not, even if you are in a wheelchair, you are still a complete human being. Even if you can't see me, you are still a complete human being. Let's celebrate that you can hear me. Hear what I'm saying. Okay. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you are watching, if not, that's fine. If you can share it, please do share it so that the voice of reason can also propagate, multiply, so that we don't keep on wasting time on human beings trying to confuse you with dead people's causes. So let the living stand up, step forward, and speak for what they believe in. Talk about their real life experiences, the daily struggles to make things happen. Let's do that so that tomorrow we are better for the things that we share, not the things that we imagine are resident in other people's minds. Goodbye.
So part two will come soon. Who is interested in part two? If you are interested in part two, just type yes or no. Then I know. If you are interested in part two, So I will take the first thing. If it's a no, then I ignore it. Okay, Roger, yes. Brian, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Ushe, yes. Tarek, yes. So thank you very much. We'll have one at uh, uh, 9 p.m. tonight. And tell me what you want me to talk about, because I'm tired of talking to myself. Those who want to join me, let our faces be seen so that when so Chengetai, yes. So please, I'll send a link so that in your face. So let's be digital, let's know each other. So thank you very much. Together there's a lot that can be done. Just knowledge is power. Ignorance is bliss. And those who think they govern us, they don't know what is coming. So I will send, I will give you the, the video. You can also uh, let me post it so that you don't have to look for it. So this is 1873. Uh, this is a platform that we have so that we can talk truth to power. Let's not be afraid of being who we are. Let us be angry because we have a right to be angry. Let us not think that the world belongs to those who claim it. Let us be the reason why life exists. Because we are the living. And if, let's have the living. Okay, so let me post it.